What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. So as you guys know, Season 7 has brought more bugs than new content. The glitches are absolutely everywhere. And the glitches are actually game breaking. And they kind of affect every single aspect of your gunplay, to be honest. We've got the visual recoil, which is absolutely different with what we were expecting. We were expecting the visual recoil to be something completely independent of the recoil itself. But now some of the weapons are completely glitched. Your weapon flies away. Weapons like Desert Eagle. I believe the new SMG SCZ-3 has some sort of this uh, visual recoil glitch. And it doesn't really feel alright. Sometimes it's fine, but sometimes the weapon just flies away. We've got the recoil bug reintroduced. It was fixed in, I believe, Season 6. Probably with the first patch in Season 6. The patch that brought Season 6 actually fixed that issue as well. But now it's reintroduced. We're going to talk about that in just a few seconds. And we've got the third-person vehicle crosshair, which is not aligned uh, correctly. And that's, again, one of the issues. So both on foot... And in vehicles, you can't shoot properly. That's what Season 7 brought us. And Season 7 is actually the season with the least amount of new content. So that's basically what we're going to talk about today in this video. If you guys found this video helpful and if you're enjoying the content, do make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as well. We've just hit 1,000 subscribers. And thank you all guys for supporting me, for liking the videos, supporting the channel, you guys really helped me to grow better and better every single day. I really appreciate your support. With all that said, let's just get right into the video. So first of all, let's speak about visual recoil. I believe it was something not necessary at all. I do believe it was completely unnecessary. It was completely something that nobody asked for. I personally was reading the news on Twitter before the release of Season 7 and I saw something called visual recoil and... I just saw the videos and I was like, who the hell asked for this? I mean, when your gunplay is fine, after two years, you're finally able to feel some on-point gunplay with all the bugs and all the issues partially, at least partially fixed. For example, the recoil bug was fixed by the time that season six came out and everything was fine. Out of nowhere comes a visual recoil idea to let you feel the chunkiness of an LMG and the sharpness of an assault rifle. Like it or not, Battlefield is somewhat a game close to reality, but it's not that close to be considered a milsim. We're not simulating a military shooter here. It's just Battlefield. You don't need everything to be exactly like what they are in reality, okay? And visual recall is exactly one of those things, and nobody asked for it. That's the problem. Now, the visual recall feels somewhat okay on a lot of weapons. I mean, it's not something that gets on your nerves or anything like that. It's just there and you're going to deal with it as soon as you get into the game and start shooting. You feel like something's changed, but it's not as bad as we thought it would be. However, on some of the weapons, including the M39 EMR, uh, the Desert Eagle, the new SMG SCZ-3, and some other weapons, the visual recoil is completely glitched. The weapon flies away, you can't shoot properly, you can't aim properly. It's like you're having both horizontal recoil and vertical recoil at the same time. It's, it's ridiculous. Something happens to your weapon and you can't shoot properly. Every time you aim down sight and you start shooting, it feels like your weapon is something else. It's different. It's not like the previous time. And this is really frustrating because it's completely killing the muscle memory. You can't get to know your weapon because every time you shoot, the weapon feels different. And that's exactly what's happening to the game right now. DICE has promised to put this in a high priority and fix this with the latest hotfix that's coming in an unknown date. They are saying that they are prioritizing the visual recoil to be fixed as soon as possible with a hotfix, but nobody knows when the hotfix is going to be live. And we're just waiting for this thing to be fixed. On top of that, we've also got the recoil bug reintroduced, which is way, way worse than the visual recoil glitch. It's way worse. The recoil bug, or the crosshair bug, as some people like to refer to it, uh, was a kind of bug that I do believe it was first discovered by Enders and one of his friends. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe it was him that first discovered it. At least that's what he claims. And... 
it's like the crosshair is not in your screen center. And if you kind of overlook it, this may not seem as a game breaking issue, but it really is. This also goes against your muscle memory being developed in your mind. It, it feels kind of odd because every single time you aim down sight, that reticle and your crosshair is not in the screen center. So what happened was videos came out of the issue. I believe it was plus one year that people were not even informed of some kind of a bug like this even exist. And then some videos came out, people discovered that there is a uh, crosshair bug going on. DICE stepped in, they fixed the issue with the season six update. It was okay, everything was fine until they decided to put the visual recoil on the weapons and somehow, I don't know how, probably DICE doesn't even know how, but somehow they reintroduced the crosshair bug and now we are also dealing with that as well. So these two combined, the recoil bug and the visual recoil glitch, uh, the shooting experience is just completely different. It feels off every single time you ADS, your weapon feels different. And probably this is the best way to describe this. Your muscle memory is gone and every time you shoot, uh, you f it feels like you're shooting with a different weapon. It's not fun to play anymore with the existing issues. It's a disgusting feeling because every single time you get back to the game, it feels like that you haven't played for the past 10 days and you need some time to get used to the game again. That is really ridiculous. All this aside, we've got a third person vehicle crosshair issue that DICE is also aware of. And according to Battlefield Bulletin, which is a Twitter page uh, that's covering Battlefield news, DICE is aware that the third person vehicle crosshairs are not lining up. It's going to be fixed in the next patch for Battlefield 2042 or the one after it. So this is very interesting to acknowledge that your issue with your third person vehicle crosshairs not being aligned might be fixed with the upcoming patch or it might be fixed with the one after it. Look at the scheduling of these people. Look how these people are planning for this game. There's a crosshair placement issue even in your third person vehicle view. And what you have to say about it is that it's going to be fixed probably in the next patch or maybe not, maybe in the patch after it. I mean, this issue is not something to look over. Dude, this is literally the meaning of a game breaking issue. I'm not a fan of vehicles in Battlefield 2042. I do believe the vehicles are quite off. They feel just off. You guys probably know if you have experience with vehicles, especially from Battlefield 4, let's say. But I've seen people playing with vehicles and struggling to do what they've always been doing, which is shooting in the third person view. And that is exactly because of this bug. And this is what DICE has to say about it. It's quite heartbreaking to see fixing everything after two years and all of a sudden to release a season and bring every issue that was fixed back in the game. So go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the issues that we've got with Battlefield 2042 season seven. Tell me about the visual recoil because it's something new. We know about the crosshair issue and it was there before, but the visual recoil is something completely new. Let me know what you think about it. I do believe it was completely unnecessary. I do believe the best thing that DICE can do is to actually revert everything about the visual recoil and just completely remove it from the game. That's what I believe because it completely fixes the issue from the root. And I would like to know what you guys think about this whole thing because it's really on my nerve and I just can't shoot properly to say the least. So thanks for watching the video and hope to see you on the next one. The video for AK5C attachments are coming your way as soon as possible. I'm actually working on it and it will be ready ASAP. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, guys, stay cool.